In this video, we're gonna be looking at the Parcel Web Application Bundler. This is a bundler similar to Webpack and it's kind of trying to compete in the same space, but instead of having a larger or even quite small config file with Webpack, Parcel aims to simply just be a plug and play option. So essentially you just run Parcel from the index.html file and of course everything happens from then on. You then get things like bundling of assets, hot module replacement and much more. It is quite a new project so I'm not putting away Webpack just yet but it is something to look at for the future and of course competition in this area is always good. So we'll be looking at it in the context of a Vue.js application. So let's hit the getting started guide and take a look at what to do. So as you can see, it's a web application bundler and the first thing we need to do is install the parcel bundler like so. So let's run this npm install or yarn depending on what you use on your system. So let's run npm install parcel-bundler-g. While that's installing, we'll take a look at what to do next, and that's of course to make a new package.json inside of our project. So let's make a new directory called p-view. Inside of here, we'll run npm init-y, and this will start up a brand new package.json with some default data. So the next thing to do is of course to make a index.html, and of course then have an entry point. So let's make an index.html like that. And at the same time, while we're here, we'll install view. Inside of our index.html, we'll simply have a standard HTML file. And as always with a view application, we'll need a div to put in our content with the ID of app. At this moment in time, I'm simply going to have an h1 inside of that that says hello parcel. And because we have the parcel bundler installed, we can actually run parcel index.html. And what this will do is it should take that index.html file and use it as the entry point for our application. It tells us that we can then navigate to the local host colon 1234. And when we do that, of course, we do have that hello parcel text. Now that's cool, but at this moment in time, we don't have any sort of bundling. And also, if we were to write some ES6, it wouldn't be transpiled down to ES5. So let's now add a script that contains an app.js. We'll need to make an app.js. And inside of here, I want to import view. And that comes from view slash dist slash view.js. Then we'll simply have a new view instance that will be pointed at the app div. And it will have a template which says h1. And maybe we'll just have a name that we can put out on screen. And our data object can simply have a new name of Paul Halliday. If we then look at our project, we can see that, of course, we then have that name on screen. If we look at the sources tab, you'll see that everything has been converted down to ES5. If we then look at the dist folder, you can see our JavaScript file. And if we search for something like the name that we typed in, you can see that, of course, our module has been bundled as part of this file. If we then check out the JavaScript here, you can see that we do have the module that we created here in app.js, as well as view bundled into that same file. The next thing I'd like to do is take a look at how we can use transforms to change our code from being ES6 to ES5. This is quite simple. All we need to do is add the Babel preset env so then inside of our project, we can run npm install babel-preset-env. All we then need to do is create a .babelrc file and state that the presets should, of course, load the env preset because that's the one we just installed. 
I'm then going to restart our parcel server. And if we once again take a look, and then if we restart our parcel server, we can look inside of the development tools and we should be able to see that where we had const previously, we now have var. So notice that this was very easy to get up and running with our project. In my opinion, it still doesn't replace Webpack, but it's good to have some competition. Let me know what you think inside of the comments section below, and of course, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more JavaScript and front-end content. Oh, this new crazy mother...